Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching Eplan Essentials. If you are an industrial controls panel builder, you may face the challenge of skilled labor. Here is where Eplan Smart Wiring can help you. With its easy to use interface, you can use low skilled labor to wire your control panels. Typically, the onboarding time gets reduced from six months to maybe lower than one month. But if you're looking to implement smart wiring, you should not forget this one topic, which I'm going to talk about in today's video. All right. Let me first walk you through ePlan Smart Wiring and show you why it is such a prominent software in the ePlan portfolio. First, let's log in here with our username, open a project, and in a matter of seconds, the project is open. We see we have 51 wires to install. Here is a point-to-point -point connection list with the cross-section, the color, bundles, and installation status. If you're clicking on one of those wires, you see in a graphical overview where to install the wire, what the wire end termination is, um, the length, potential, connection number, even the torque, routing direction. You can even jump to one wire and then press the play to see how to install the wire. Obviously, here it's not such a long wire, but if I take one of the longer wires, like here, it will make sense. This gives you quality, which is necessary to install uh, the wires in your panel. And even low-skilled labor workers should be able to follow these instructions. If you have a wiring process ready, uh, which is adoptable, then smart wiring should be almost immediately ready to use. Sometimes customers, however, struggle with the implementation of ePlan smart wiring because they have a defined wiring process and they need to adjust the ePlan smart wiring software. Like a couple of weeks ago, a customer called me and said, after six months of use, we are still not able to use smart wiring efficient like we would like. Uh, we had a short call and I tried to understand what's the issue. In their case, they are using the connection number to wire the wires in the panel. So they would like, in this overview here, to have the connect connection number displayed. And here is uh, one of the most important topics which I would like to talk today about when you are implementing smart wiring and you would like to adjust the interface, you either know how to do it or you need to consult with one of your ePlan professionals. So when we, when we jumped on a call, we spoke about what the request is, and he said he would like to have the connection number also displayed here, right? And this can be essentially accomplished in two easy steps. First, the administrator needs to create a scheme where the connection number is displayed, and then the user or every user can just select it and apply it, okay? Now, let's go into the first step, how to create a new scheme. And for this, we are going here to Menu, Administrator Settings. Here is the access code, which is a four digit zero, 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 zero. And then you can press here, Enable Access, and you will get into the Administrator Settings. And in the Administrator Settings, you can scroll here down and you see Configurate Connection List Columns. If you click on this button, you see here, configurate connection list columns default. Default is the scheme name, which we are using here. And here on the right side, you see selected columns, used next columns. So what you need to know is that in, this, um, in the overview, you have eight, up to 18 possible tiles, which you can define. And here are the various properties which are not used yet. The number, how big uh, or how many tiles this property is using, 
And here on the right side, you see the used properties and the number of tiles. So currently, in this default scheme, we are using 15 tiles out of 18. So we can use up to three more tiles. Okay? Here on the left side, we see the available columns, means those tiles which are not used yet. And as you can see, here is designation. So that's the property which my customer needed. And it, it's as easy as just selecting this property and dragging it to the position where we would like to showcase um, the designation. So we, I have here source target, and maybe then designation is the next one. As you see, now instead of 15, we have 17 tiles used, and I couldn't use any of those. If I would like to use any of these tiles, I will need to move some selected one over. Okay? So for now, I'm happy. Or uh, what you else see next to the default, you see the asterisk, which is an international sign for uh, it's not saved. Uh, so I'm just going to click here, uh, save as scheme, and here you can... Um, enter a scheme name or override the existing scheme, right? So I'll just say here, um, call Bruno and press the save button, okay? So now you see save successfully and this scheme name is called Uncle Bruno. So that was the first step to configure the connection list columns and create the scheme. Now, if you would like to apply the scheme, you need to go to menu, user settings, and as you click on user settings, you have here select column scheme. And here you can select between the existing schemes. So maybe you have some schemes for some certain customers or uh, predefined schemes for, for yourself. And as you see here, I have Uncle Bruno. And that's the scheme overview. And here you just need to press apply. And the tiles changed and now I have the designation. So now the customer is happy with that and they could use smart wiring to their wiring process. So I'll just, another summary of the topics which we, which we heard today. It's very important if you have um, a predefined wiring process and if you want to adapt smart wiring to your wiring process and it's not by default already already working please consult with your e-plan professionals this wraps up today's e-plan essentials video have you already adopted e-plan smart wiring in your shop floor or are you interested to use smart wiring soon let me know in the comments below. Also, if you find this video beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it in your community. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.